Alrighty. I am going to show you guys how to do my oven fried chicken. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put in, because I'm only doing two uh, pieces of chicken, two chicken thighs. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put in about a tablespoon of this coconut oil. This oil, I get it from a uh, family dollar. And it has, this is the best. It is absolutely the best. Uh, there's no coconut smell. There's no coconut flavor. And this is on the one of the um, oils that is on the keto list. So I put about a tablespoon in there. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this pan in the oven just to melt the just to melt the oil. Completely done with that. Carb quick. This is what I use as my um, flour. So, go ahead and put some of this in a bowl. Actually, that's plenty. I'm not going to use even all of that. So, I'll be using that when I fry more chicken. That will be my chicken bowl of carp quick. So, I'm done with that. So, my carp quick, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt in here. Okay. Get that mixed in here. Carb quick. Also, my oven is at 360 degrees. I've already preheated it. Okay. So next, here is the two pieces of chicken. I'm going to season my chicken. Uh, now, the flavors that I like for fried chicken is garlic powder, onion powder, lemon pepper, and sazon. What I do is get me a bottle and I already, I put me some in there and I already have it mixed up. I've had this little bottle and I, and I just put it together. This is what I use for my chicken, pork chop, um, yeah, basically chicken and pork chop. So, I already have my uh, seasonings in here. And you do want to season just a little bit of salt on your chicken. Because I don't put salt in the mix. I don't put salt in the mix. So, a little bit of salt, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just season my my chicken with my favorite season. Season. I keep the skin on. I'm sorry, y'all can't see it. Well, you can see it coming out. All right, I'm done with that. See my chicken? Well seasoned. Of course, it's already been washed. Well seasoned. Two nice sized chicken thighs. Of course, keep you some soapy hot dish water on the side. Everybody know that. So... I know that oil is done melting by now. So this is really, it's enough to kind of just cover the bottom of the pan. Maybe just a little more. So what I'll do next, put that over here. And I might have should have used a bigger pan. I didn't realize how big these thighs were. But I... The next step, just put it in the in the flour, in the carb quick. 
coat it completely. Coat it completely. See that? It's completely coated. I didn't use any type of liquid, no egg wash, no milk, no water. This is this. And then skin side up in the pan. Same thing for the next one. See? Completely coat it. Put it in the pan. Okay, that's fine. Of course, when I use more chicken, I use a bigger pan. You know. But I actually had planned to do something else with those thighs today. And there is bleach in my dishwater because I'm cooking chicken. So, just so y'all know that. All right. So, next thing I'm going to do is just put it in the oven. Completely coated. Uncovered. 360 degree oven. In it goes. I'm going to set my timer for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'll check it. Uh, I'll check it after 30 minutes, and then I will come back, and I'll show you the results. Okay? Okay.